part of this van life journey for me is self-elevation and nature just elevates me and I started van life just so I could be in nature more so anytime you see me out in nature I'm meditating that's my piece that's how I come up with all the creative things that I come up with It was only gonna be 26 degrees, but with the wind, it's it's so cold. I don't even know the exact temperatures, but my hands are freezing. I have gloves in my pocket, but it's hard to film with those gloves. <laughs> it's so cold out here. Oh, it's been a while since it's been this cold. I've been craving some winter weather, and we're finally getting an Arctic blast, I think. This is cold. <laughs> Woo. I'm just gonna go ahead and head back to the van, pump up that diesel heater. I can finally use it. Haven't been able to use it much this winter because of the weather's been kind of mild. So today I wanna use it. And I actually wanna go for a hike because I know nobody's gonna be out on the trails. <laughs> The water is up so high. We've had so much rain. Now everything is pretty much flooded. You can see this little area right here is flooded. And the water line appears to be right there at one point. All flooded and waves crashing in because of that wind. Yeah. Ah, oh, so nice and toasty in here. Once my cold body hits this warm air, it's just like, mm. <laughs> it felt amazing. I highly recommend a diesel heater. I was trying to do the Mr. Buddy thing before. I just didn't like that heat. But now with this diesel heater, it's a game changer. I can dry things. As long as I got this vent open, all that moisture is going to go out. It's just uh, so game changing. And that's partly about what this video is. Just if I can help you a little bit along on your van life journey or helping you get started with van life by sharing these things, that's what I want to do. One of my favorite things to do, which this doesn't seem to be working at the moment, there we go, is to have the uh, essential oils just blasting out into the air, making the space more welcoming, smelling better, and just overall enlighten the vibes, you know? At this current moment, I have the diesel heater pumping away on medium. It's about 30 degrees outside. It was only literally 38 today i'm really liking the cold because that means i can actually use my diesel heater and be cozy inside of my van in the winter but now all we got to do is get snow so i can do the winter van life video okay so i kind of want to go ahead and talk about like the five things that i wish i could change the number one thing that i wish i could change is having more space. This van is a short model Astro. It doesn't have the extra space the extended model has, so it's a little more compressed. 
I love the size. It's just the storage issues, maybe because I wasn't as efficient as I should have been building out the fan is why I have those issues. But regardless, I just wish I had a little more storage. The second thing I wish I could change is having different LED lights. These are cool. These are okay. They get the job done. But I like the RGBIC lights that you can change each little section to whatever color you want. These, they kind of do it, but they don't fully do it. So I wish I had a different set so I could actually make those changes and keep my mood elevated and keep everything up. Because that's another reason I got the lights is to elevate mood whenever my mood would shift or change. The lights are very good for that for me. The third thing that I wish I could change is cabinets. I wish I had cabinets in this van, like at least there, specifically here too. Maybe not cover that entire window, but I wish I had cabinets because that would help me with extra space and I could store more kitchen related stuff in them. Okay, the fourth thing that I wish I could change Definitely the insulation in the walls, I would go a bit thinner, maybe one inch and not two, because then I could gain two inches on the length of my bed. <laughs> so next time, I think I'll probably do like one inch, or I may change that and do one inch foam insulation inside the walls. And I think that'll be cool now that I have a diesel heater. And last but not least, I wish I would have actually put cabinets on this right here. But I think the stars look amazing right there and is a good substitute for not having those cabinet doors. I just wish that I could close that up sometimes because I feel like if you look in through the door, it would look a little bit better inside of the van. Other than that, this has been pretty useful. I really like it, even though I've changed everything so many times. <sighs> and I'll probably change it even more <laughs> if there are some things you like to change in your van comment down below i'm curious i'd like to know with all that being said uh let me turn this <laughs> with all that being said i think that your build once you start van life and think you have everything built that you need your needs are going to change as you progress during your van life so don't stress yourself when you're first building a van. Hey, I'm a year and a half in and like, I'm still looking, seeing what I need and saying, oh, I wish I would have done that. And you know, don't stress it. Just go with it, love it and live it. But other than that, you know, I really love van life and how creative it forces you to be, how minimalistic it forces you to be. It's just a great change in life for me. And that's just a bonus of doing van life. That's not even the reason that I wanted to do van life, but that's a big bonus. And it has helped me progress further and just clear up some space in the old noggin, you know? I'd love to thank each and every one of you for always supporting me, watching my videos, hitting the like, commenting and subscribing. Y'all are amazing. I honestly had lower expectations for this year, but this year has already started to just go off the rails. So thank you for dropping by, you know. But until next time, explorers, peace. I'm holding the camera, I can't do my heart. I love and have an amazing day wherever you are.